Call the polynomial p of x is divided by x minus 2, the remainder is negative 2. And when it's divided by x minus 3, the remainder is 3. Find the remainder when it is divided by that. Okay, so we begin. When the polynomial is divided by, the polynomial first of all is p over x, p of x. Now when it's divided by x minus 2, it means that the value of x is going to be 2 because x minus 2 equal to 0. It means that um, making x the subject of the formula, the value of x will be 2. So it means that p, when the value of x is 2, is going to be equal to the remainder. What's the remainder? Negative 2. And when it is divided by x minus 3, when it is divided by x minus 3, it means that p into, of, if this means when 3 comes to the other side of the equation, it becomes, when the value of x is 3, is going to be, the remainder is 3. So find the remainder. So they're asking us to find the remainder when it is divided by that. Now, this, when you multiply this by that, the, it looks, you get a quadratic equation. Let's say let the remainder be, let the remainder be ax plus b. Now, from our previous videos, we said that a polynomial, p of x, will be equal to the quotient q, the quotient plus the divisor, which is x minus a, plus the remainder. Now, in this particular case, our polynomial p of x is going to be equal to the quotient times the divisor. In this case, they're asking us, find the remainder when the, when the thing is divided by x minus 2 and this. So it means that for the divisor part, it's going to be x minus 2 and that. That is x minus 2 into x minus 3 plus our remainder. Let our remainder be a x plus b. So since they're asking us to find the remainder, so we are going to be tasked to look for the value of a and b. That's going to be plus a x plus b. As simple as that. So now, so when p is 2, we substitute for 2 here and formulate an equation. When p is 2, so for the value of the polynomial p to be 2, that's going to be equal to uh, when 2 is, we put 2 here, 2 minus 2 is going to be 0. So 0 times this whole thing, this whole term dies. So we remain with this. So it becomes going to become 2a plus b. It's going to be 2a plus b. But you know that when the, when, for the polynomial where the value of x is 2, we get a remainder of negative 2. So it means that this is going to be, negative 2 is going to give us 2a plus b. That gives us our first equation. So now we do the same for when p when the value of x is 3. So for p into 3 is going to be equal to, when we feed in 3 here, 3 minus 3 is going to be 0, so this whole term will die and remain only with this. So it's going to be 3a plus b. 3a plus b. So remember, p of 3 is 3, so this is going to become 3. 3 is going to give us 3a plus b. That's our second equation. So we have two equations, all we have to do is simply solve them simultaneously. Uh, we have, what can we easily eliminate? We can easily eliminate b. So we simply subtract this equation from that equation to eliminate b. So negative 2 minus 3 is going to give us negative 5. Is giving us 2a minus 3a, giving us minus a. So meaning that our value of a is going to be 5. And when you put 5 there, uh, 3 is giving us 3a plus b. Um, 3a, 3 times 5 is 15. Our value of b will be negative 12. So to substitute all this in our ax plus b, it means the remainder is 5x minus 12. And that's the remainder. Let's carry out a similar example. A polynomial f of x gives a remainder 4 when it's divided by x plus 2 and a remainder 2 when it is divided by x minus 2. Find the remainder when the polynomial is divided by x squared minus 4. We'll do like we've done before. So if the remainder is, if the polynomial, the polynomial is f of x, 
and we know that f of x when it is divided by f of x is going to be equal to the quotient the polynomial f of x is equal to the quotient times the divisor plus the remainder so it means that here when divided So when it's divided by x plus 2, it means that x will be equal to negative 2. And when we put x into negative 2 into that polynomial, our remainder will be 4. And they're asking us, it's, and the remainder 2 when divided by x minus 2. So when it's divided by x minus 2, it means our value of x is going to be 2. So when we put 2 in that place of x, it means that our remainder is supposed to be so they're asking us to find the remainder when the polynomial is divided by x squared minus 4. So let us let our remainder be in terms of x plus b, then we find that. Let our remainder be equal to ax plus b. So we begin uh, when we divide this by when we put our value of negative 2 there that's going to give us the quotient times r times the divisor r divisor here they are telling us that find the remainder when the polynomial is divided by x squared minus 4 it means that this this is going to be our divisor so it is multiplied that by x squared minus 4 plus our remainder and our remainder in this case is going to be ax plus b what we are looking for so we start substituting when the function of x is negative 2 that's going to be now here negative 2 squared is going to be 4 4 minus 4 is going to be 0 so this whole term is going to die and remain with negative 2a plus b And we know that this f of negative 2 is giving us 4. So it means that 4 is going to give us negative 2a plus b. That's our equation 1. So we go to the second case when our value of x is 2. When we put our value of x here 2, f of 2, f of 2 is going to be equal to. When we put our value of 2 here, 2 squared minus 4, this is going to be equal to 0. So it means this whole term is going to die. 0 times this is all 0. We remain here with 2a plus b. It's going to give us 2a plus b. That's, uh, it means that our function of 2 gives us 2, so it's 2 is going to give us 2a plus b. That's our equation 2. After getting our equation 2, so it means that for us to get the values of a and b, we solve these two equations simultaneously. So how do we solve this two? We simply eliminate b. It's easy to eliminate. Sub subtract this minus that. So 4 minus 2 is 2. It's going to give us negative 2 minus negative 2 is negative 4a. And then b minus b is 0. So we've eliminated b. So we divide both sides here by negative 4. By negative 4. This goes with that. Our value of a here is going to be negative a half. So our value of b will be uh, it will it will be if we make b the subject of the formula in this equation it's going to be 2 minus 2a so our value of b is going to be 3 and our value of a is going to be a negative a half so from ax plus b Our factor is going to become our value of a is negative a half, so it's negative a half x plus 3. And that is going to be the factor we've been looking for. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Please don't forget to like and share this video. For more videos, simply subscribe to Kisembo Academy. Otherwise, I hope you watch the next video. For Kisembo Academy, this is an old Ranga Kurama.